Hi, this is Chris with CodeChris.com. Thank you for watching, and uh, let's let's talk about this. So you're new to JavaScript, you're learning some stuff, and there's going to be a lot of conflicting information, right? Because on the one hand, you're seeing this thing called ESMA 2015. Of course, it's 2017. You're also hearing ES6, which you're finding out is the same thing, but the formatting and how that's written is different than a lot of the tutorials you're seeing and a lot of stuff in Stack Overflow and it just it's it's built differently it's written differently and you know it's the future but it's also not supported um, by all browsers but it's also moving in the future and that that's like old stuff so what should you be doing what should you be learning right okay So here's the thing, um, basically long story short, what happened is every so often with these languages, programs, frameworks, whatever you want to go through, um, there's always going to be updates. There's always going to be a newer version that makes things slightly better, slightly faster, whatever. And this is across the board. This is just like the nature of the beast. You know, uh, PHP is at PHP 7, and before that was, you know, uh, PHP 5, and then there was a 4, and then all that stuff, right? And so that's sort of like, like in general, these standards that get set. And those are what end up becoming just the norm, right, for a while until the new stuff comes out. And it's more of like in a beta phase and whatever. But eventually it becomes the new standard, right? Um, so JavaScript is no different. And so if you're looking at JavaScript and you're a little confused because you see all these things, um, don't be. It's, this is just how it works. So what should you be doing, though? You know, Is it even worth uh, learning old stuff if it's going to be outdated? So um, the correct answer is yes. So even though ES6 has new syntax that makes things uh, faster to write things, it makes things easier um, for organization purposes and stuff, you still do want to learn the old way of doing things for a number of reasons. One, uh, well, this is for me personally. For me personally, I think that um, it's much more straightforward on some of the, on how things are working under the hood. Um, when you go ES5, um, you know, you, you didn't have like the class keyword and your, your functions, um, you know, when you're learning some of the stuff, I think it's a little more straightforward as far as how it's working. Um, of course now things look a lot prettier, make more sense, you don't have to do all these extra steps, but I think it helps you understand what's going on under the hood. But that's not it. I mean, the, the main thing is going to be the fact that there is just a bunch of code that currently exists that you're going to be working on that ultimately isn't ES6 ready. Like, it's, it just wasn't written that way, right? Uh, this is called legacy code. This is code that is older. Um, in some cases, you get, um, you know, uh, locked up but that'll be like way, way in the future. Um, so right now the thing is a majority of the JavaScript that's written out there, everything you're seeing on Stack Overflow, um, on GitHub, whatever, it's it's mostly going to be ES5 just because it's been around for a long time and that's what a lot of code has been written in. Because ES6 um, is, is now becoming the standard and even then it's still not supported by all browsers because it's... Um, because it's... Uh, it's new. I mean, that's just how things work when they're new. So while that transition's happening, there's some ways with, with Babel and whatever that you can go ahead and make things backward compatible and start writing in ES6. So you should start writing in it. You should learn it um, and, and be ready for the future with that. But you definitely still need to know uh, ES5. Um, you know, there's very, very many times in, in different fields I think that you would want to learn something old and something that you know was going to be outdated but in this case ES5 is going to be one of those things that you are still going to want to know you're going to want to know um, how the syntax works and how it's it's set up and it's not like 
it's not like the jump between ES5 to ES6 is so drastic you'll be confused and you're learning two languages. This is not, and once again, I don't, I haven't done Angular, but from my understanding, this is not a, this is not to the extreme of essentially learning something brand new. You're not learning an entire language over again. You're not learning um, that whole setup differently. This is not like Angular, my understanding. Um, between Angular 1 and 2, where you have to learn essentially um, a whole different set of rules, a whole different set of things. Um, it's not that kind of jump. From my understanding about Angular, I, I, I mess with Angular. So. Um, but the nice thing about it is um, once you know ES5, you're just learning some syntax changes for ES6 for the most part that's the majority of what it is and these syntax changes are basically there just to make your code look more pretty easier to read uh, less to type and just to optimize things that's all it is okay so in a nutshell that's what you want to do you want to learn both ES5 and ES6 and you know I definitely can imagine and and here's the thing here's the thing even ES6 won't be the stopping point, right? Because now it's you got ES uh, 2017 happening, right? So ES7 will be that next thing. And they've already started implementing, um, or they've already started getting things for that ready. So you could even start messing around with that. Um, although it's, it's a lot more early, and so I, you don't really have to jump in uh, with that one right now. So, uh, but nonetheless, this is just the nature of the beast. Uh, is it annoying? Yes. Um, ultimately, though, this is just kind of something that, as a developer, you're going to have to get used to. They update this stuff all the time, and it's not just JavaScript, like I said. Um, it's it's all the frameworks, the libraries, you name it. The syntax is going to be tweaked a little bit. There's going to be some additional things, um, and eventually some functionality will become deprecated, right, or, or just not supported. Um, and so you got to like, write in these, these shivs that essentially make things backward compatible. Um, and that's just the way it is. Is, is. is it ideal? No. But currently, that's just how we've grown to expect these things, right? Now, um, yeah, because I can imagine, you know, coming in right now and being super confused. Because, like, ah, oh, man, I got to learn three things. I got to learn, you know, all this new stuff. No, it's not quite like that. You're really still learning just one thing. You're learning JavaScript. And I would suggest, I would suggest learning um, ES5 first just because I think it's a little bit more straightforward and clear what you're doing um, before you start going into ES6 and really ES6 because it's 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 faster to write it's got more syntax going on because of that reason I think it makes the abstraction of how you're writing things um, a little, little more difficult because I don't see it as visually um, communicating as fast some things um, that when you're learning I think would be more helpful. Um, once you already know what's going on, you, you don't need to see you know that arrow function like that makes it really fast. But when you're learning, it's a different thing because you're you want to write and understand what you're writing and kind of put some stuff in your mind onto the screen and you know that requires extra code that really isn't necessary and that's what ES6 does away with so anyways take your time learn it um, you know I'm I'm filling myself in as well um, and you know that's what you gotta do Anyways, this is Chris with CodeChris.com. Any questions, thoughts, whatever, please leave a comment down below, and I will be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.